Yesterday we had a peaceful demonstration, uh, which started in the morning at around 10. Then at uh, a.m. it went through after in the afternoon, when they actually turned to be chaotic, and uh, riot has started uh, confronting the officers. So after confronting the officers, uh, when we tried to respond, they started uh, running to different directions and uh, some of them end up uh, entering Naifash, Cuba, within the CBD. They started looting, but after us getting information, we rushed swiftly to that particular place, managed to arrest those ones who were stealing from the premises. We managed to arrest about 130 persons, whom we have them at the cells at the present. We are processing them now. We want to, uh, we want to arrange them to be charged in court for, of course, various uh, uh, crime committed within the town because they started burning the, the constituency office. And then after that one, now they went to the Naifas. Another team went to Naifas. So we managed to arrest those culprits. And now in the afternoon, we will the situation now as we speak is calm. The town is back to normalcy and the business is back to normal. But still we have enough security officers at the ground patrolling within the town to see whether there, there will be any other team who may be thinking to, 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 to commit a several crimes. But uh, we are on the ground to make sure that the place is calm. After uh, some, some, some of them went to the uh, constituency office where they destroyed, they burnt the, they removed the property from the office and then they burnt the office. They also, there was also a vehicle which was burnt which was just packed next to that place. But uh, generally I think we have no any other place where they did a very major damage but from those two places. We are really working on the recoveries. We made some recoveries yesterday. We managed to recover two, two motorbikes and some mattresses which was, which was, which was being stolen from the, the Life supermarket. But progress is on well. The DCIO and his team is working on that. And uh, some of our officers who are civilian, they are working on, the, on some suspects whom we know they, they, they have been seen carrying those uh, particular items. Uh, during the afternoon now, the after, after now the, the peaceful demonstration uh, went after in the afternoon, uh, a team of some young men whom we are purporting to be crime criminals from uh, those areas of Kyoto and of course uh, part of uh, Karakita. They now joined this team which was peaceful and then they started confronting the officers. Then from there when the officers uh, dispersed them, they started now moving to several, several directions and started looting them. Those areas I've actually said about. I want to tell the public that uh, if you find or you see those people whom uh, they have, maybe they have collected items who you think they are not, they don't belong to them to come for us, to, to tell us, to give us information so that uh, we can manage to, to, to recover those items because there are very many items, but some of them are full stops. Uh, so we are telling them to actually give us information so that we swiftly arrest those other ones who might have messed up with the, with, with, with the progress. We are very much prepared for that, but we are telling the youth to just be, be calm and uh, avoid, uh, avoid destroying the uh, properties because uh, it is actually very bad for, for these young men to just come and uh, destroy properties which uh, the owners are actually were, 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 have actually closed their properties and then they are coming to steal from them, it is not good. Nikona Luns and uh, the name is Epco Guest House because in our game na area for two a jana wakati kuliko na demonstration na wakaingia walikuwa wamekuja the first round na walikuwa watu right sana although walikuwa na tuko lakini hawakuuza my promises the second round they were walikuwa watu wenye na silaha sana. Walisukuma mlango the main entrance wakai force 
kwa sababu nilikuwa na wateja my my customers wakati yo kerele ilikuwa mingi sana wakaogopa that means walikuwa naona tutoke tunaweza kufia huku lakini wakati hao walikuwa nataka kutoka nao hakaforce mlango na wakaingia hiyo damage yote walifanya jana the first thing ilikuwa ku harib reception then my office hapo wakachoma paka vit everything laptop whatever table desk zilichomeka zote after that wakaingia the other side kwa mheshimiwa waliingia every room they were they destroyed 40 rooms wakabeba TVs wakabeba mattresses mattresses high density wakabeba bedding zote viti wakafuja fuja wardrobes I want to say that they they destroyed everything and I have lost millions and millions of shillings mimi ngeoba eh is serikali yenye tuko nayo kwa sababu the purpose of this this vijana ama wasichana ama watu wenye walikuwa huku they are annoyed wana complain wana complain mambo na e bill ningetaka serikali ama ninge waomba wanifikirie because sina la kufanya sasa niko desperate kabisa and you know office wenye walikuwa nakuja ni the, the ruling government that's why i'm i'm telling them to support me i agree with the peaceful demonstration but uh, when it comes to now destroying properties kuingia naivas that is now where uh, we draw the line kwa sababu naivas uh, in employ watu wengi sana so many youths and bomoa kwa cdf uh, that is so so bad uh, mimi nawaomba sana uh, in any case you want to demonstrate make sure you demonstrate peacefully make sure you don't destroy things that help us as as, as the youth of naivasha tuendelee ku, ku, kuangalia sana our future even as we demonstrate and uh, you guys uh, keep it peaceful the, the, the demonstration was so peaceful uh, i don't know where things started happening and watu waka lose focus ya ya demonstration